Hey all, here at osvtxseries.com, you're watching our video review of the Wayfinder V7000. This is a multifunction digital vehicle device which features a compass, a thermometer, a barometer, and a altometer, which all function pretty well for the most part, give and take. There are a few that don't work as well as the others. This is manufactured by a company known as PNI, which we actually haven't heard of that much, um, or particularly we haven't reviewed that much in our review site, but um, the Wayfinder is uh, a relatively low cost device that comes at only $60, which is uh, effective and um, efficient, if, especially if you consider digital compasses and uh, barometers and altometers for your cars, uh, typically costing in the thousands range if you get into more quality devices. Granted, the V7000 is more of a consumer device, so it has a low quality build, it's made entirely out of plastic, and um, it also doesn't work as well as in professional options out there, but uh, for the most part, the compass and the thermometer do work pretty well. Something I need to get out of the way right now is the V7000 is definitely not a portable system. In that department, I mean that uh, you can't take it with you on a biking trip or perhaps you know walking around or jogging. It has to be a portable device either in your car, in your plane, or you know on your boat. And it needs to be calibrated, calibrated every single time that you move it. And as such, it comes with a free in-car mount um, on the windshield, very similar to a GPS bracket, which you need to put in place and actually not move the unit or you have to recalibrate it, which can get kind of annoying. The device comes with a built-in car charger inside of the package, which is a proprietary port on the other end, but it works pretty well. Um, there is no built-in lithium-iron battery though, so if you unplug it, the unit automatically turns off. Otherwise, uh, this device features a backlight as well for easy readability under direct sunlight and even in darker environments, which works fairly well for the most part. And the device also weighs 110.4 ounces, sorry, which again, you can expect it's quite lightweight. Um, as far as the actual, um, you know, taking a closer look at the design itself, the buttons are all controlled um, on the right-hand side of the unit with the power on and off step for the actual uh, functionalities and then enter mode in the menu and also the altimeter settings. Um, these are pretty tactile, they are risen above the surface, you can be able to press them. They aren't rubber, but uh, they are tactile, so not too much trouble with that. The actual screen itself is monochrome and not color, and there is a compass kind of ring here set in place without even turning the unit on, but it has a slightly green coloring to the monochrome display, but it's still relatively easy to see under direct sunlight, which is nice, like we said. It's a fairly small and portable unit. On the back of the unit, we also have access to the actual sensors uh, for the product itself. We have a beeping sensor, which is actually not a full speaker, but just for basic alarms and such. We also have access to the temperature sensors. You can see here, one is one for a temperature probe, which you need to connect and put onto the outside of your car for calibration. And then the other side is just for the power, and essentially that is it. The device can be purchased at Amazon.com and also at some exclusive stores around the nation, but not at all device, not at all stores such as Walmart or Target or anything like that. Now the V7000, um, let's take let me take you through some of the core functions of the unit, starting with the thermometer. Now the thermometer for the V7000 measures temperature on the outside of your vehicle. So um, again with the temperature probe that we talked about, it measures the outside temperature and not the inside, which is pretty useful. That said, a lot of cars these, day, these days, even basic um, ones, are coming more and more with these basic sensors. So the actual viability of going out and purchasing one of these you know, kind of decreases because most cars have these options built in, unless yours breaks or you're buying an older car that doesn't have this, um, then you know you don't really necessarily need that for that function. And compass is another function that a lot of cars these days have, but this one's actually fairly accurate give and take. Um, whenever you're driving or turning in your car, such as south, north, or west, and even the micro, uh, micro directions, it's gonna actually indicate that and tell you that you're turning and what direction you're pointing after the magnets are calibrated, like we said. And after calibration, it works flawlessly and uh, very well. Now, some features that don't work as well includes the barometer for the sensors of the um, atmospheric pressure. Um, again, if you are going higher or lower, depending on ground level, the device gets confused pretty easily. It's not as accurate as, you, as a manual barometer and not as accurate as more professional digital barometers. And if you're planning on getting it for just for the elevation sensor there, then I think that um, you you will be disappointed. But if you do want it for the compass, you want it for the temperature, then this device does work fairly well. And um, essentially that's that's pretty much it. The V7000 is affordable. Again, it is portable, it's easy to use, not too much to you know really fret over and the device you know is basic. It can plug into your car and you are ready to set up uh, within a few minutes and then put it onto a mount. Um, of course, the reason might, why you might purchase one of these includes if your a current one in your car has broken down or if you're purchasing a slightly lower, uh, older vehicle without these functions already built into the device. 
or if you're, you know, you must have a somewhat, even not if it's even if it's not super accurate barometer or a allometer in your car, um, rather than a compass and a thermometer ready there. So thanks for watching this video. First look overview here at osmvtxroots.com of the Wayfinder V7000 all-purpose car tool. Um, also thanks to our brother site at OS Tech News. Thanks for watching.